Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're on double digit wins. Um, it's honestly not that impressive. We got a long way to go before we start to really feel amazing about that. Nine volt monstrous tooth DVTW DTHQ. Apparently we just get seeds that don't have numbers in them all the fucking time now. Um, this effectively means that we can use Monstro's Tooth once every two rooms. Which is fairly useful because our DPS, like our damage stat seems okay. Yeah, like based on the, the circumference of our tier. Um, but the rate at which we're firing is very poor. Alright, sir, uh, Magic Mushroom uh, giving us a little bit of extra DPS in pretty much all regards and giving us a little, of, a little extra of everything to be honest with you is more than helpful enough to make me feel pretty excited about the fact that uh, we picked that up early. Is this an XL floor? It's not. It's just a little larger than usual um, for a first floor. If we can get AAA battery and use Monstro's Tooth once per room... Oh my god, we got a Tinted Rock up here somehow. Uh, then I will be just over the moon about this run. Because as bad as Monstro's Tooth is, it's only bad not based on its own damage, but rather on its on its rate of usefulness, or its frequency of actually being able to be used. Being able to use it uh, once per room would probably make it overpowered. It's almost like having a little High Priestess card every single room, which is awesome. There's a golden chest. I would probably invest the key in trying to get that. Um, I'm gonna try to blow this judgment up. It's not like we have enough money anyway. It did give us an Eternal Heart, which is fine. Better than fine, probably. Monstro's Tooth has done 80% of uh, Little Horn's damage, or HP, and then he did the other 20%. Easy enough for me. We get uh, Mom's Pearls for range and luck. I feel like why wouldn't you explore the rest of this floor? The luck is nice, the range is uh, effectively probably meaningless. But, dude, I'm telling you. Find the regular secret room. Hope for an, an amazing trinket. If that trinket ends up being um, AAA battery, like we're in the clear here. But we have to find the secret room first, which uh, I guess probably by default would be there. And then it doesn't contain enough money directly, but it may contain the opportunity to get enough money. We also got a health upgrade pill, which is ridiculously strong. Now uh, we can't get into our shop, but we do have enough money to get an arcade on the next floor. We'll have four HP going down there, which is pretty silly considering we had one uh, when we started this floor. One in a spirit heart, but now we got one and a half spirit hearts and four HP. So, uh, it, it really doesn't get too much luckier than that, short of, you know, a black market where you can take eight different items and get your run set up very nicely. So we're really hoping for a key drop here. The reason, by the way, why, did, why not blow up uh, the mushrooms for more pills? I already have magic mush, so I sort of thought maybe we'd, we'd have diminishing returns on that somewhat, but perhaps not. We will use one bomb to get five bombs, and that's the real benefit of sticky bombs. It seems like it also gave me a speed upgrade, but I might be just thinking wishfully there. I'll, ooh, ooh, this is a library? I don't really want to replace uh, Monstro's Tooth, honestly. I kind of think that this is an item that um, I shit on from time to time. And then this is one of the rare chances for it to actually be not bad. It might be good to kind of get a little flavor there. Um, we shouldn't have blown them up like this, but it's okay. We're going to have 15 cents. Uh, no means with which to access our shop, but if we can just get a key, then that all changes, of course. And two more spirit hearts. Makes me feel less bad about getting hit by a fucking spider. This is looking really good. Like, really, really good. It would be awesome to... Oh my god, get out of there. It would be awesome to get some more keys, but... Um, that's the only thing I can conceivably complain about right now. And it's relatively minor. And we just got two? Something's going on here. I'll open one of these because I, I honestly don't know well... Or when well enough to quit, but... That golden chest didn't turn out horrible, but certainly it didn't give me the key or the item I was looking for. We'll crack on Monstro here. Apparently Monstro is the ultimate uh, Benedict Arnold here. Killing his own, you know, two favored sons just for a, a chance at redemption and glory from the, uh, the number one spot for me here. We get another all stats upgrade, taking us to 5 HP. At the very least, we want Satanic Bible for precedence, but I think we'll probably just say that will stay with Monstro's Tooth for now. This is, um, I mean, we, we have, not every item has been an all-star. 
Yeah, smashmouth.mp3. Sure, okay, you got me. Um, not every item here has been an all-star, but uh, enough of them have been enough of an all-star that, you know, we got a championship team in the making here. I mean, the fact that we have... Oh, my God. Magic Mush, 9 volts, and the Halo is, is enough to make me excited. It's Book of Belial. Well, we're, we're certainly not going to get another key... At least we have library precedent now, which is to say that when you pick up a book, your chances of getting a library go up in the future. Unfortunately, uh, this does mean I won't be able to get to our shop. We had 18 cents, but you see a uh, you see a shop, you see a library, which one do you take? Easy enough for me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the library because it's a little bit more interesting. I will go to the curse room. I don't really care if there is a secret room that borders it now. We'll use Pandora's box. It's giving us an HP upgrade, which is... Fine, it's not amazing, but it's okay. And we'll continue onwards here. The amount of HP we've gotten so far has, you know, quite frankly been ridiculous. I'm, I'm sure that you are aware of this. We've traded two away, started with one, and yet we still have four. That is not a, a normal circumstance, but it's one that I'm, I'm pretty pleased with regardless. Secret rooms in obvious locations. It's my favorite, uh... Stephen Malcolmus album. Actually sounds more like a Silver Jews album, but then I was like, should I say Silver Jews? People might be like, ironically, like, oh, that's offensive, but it's, I mean, it's the name of a band. It's not meant to be offensive. I don't know if the founder is Jewish. It's possible. I'm not going to say he is or he isn't. He can say that for himself. I mean, it's not the term. I don't know. We're getting into some uncomfortable territory here. But I was like, do I want to get into uncomfortable territory? Or do I want my musical references to not be on point? And I decided it was more important for the integrity of the musical reference to be on point than to not broach what is some faux controversial area. And I'm talking F-A-U-X, not P-H-O, which is actually pronounced fa. Forget about it. Okay. Chaos card. Very unlikely that I use this properly. You know, know thyself, um, and I, I know myself well enough to know that I will probably fuck up the use of this chaos card. And that's okay, because the run is great, you know? People make mistakes, but uh, I'd love to save this and just kill Hush easily for it. It's like my favorite time to fight Hush. We got Sharp Plug and Black Candle, both of which are well worth, um, well, debatably Sharp Plug, but possibly in the future it'll be worth it, but uh, definitely uh, Black Candle is worth the 15 cents we paid for it. Curse of the uh, Blind didn't screw us too hard on that one. And honestly, like, I mean, I, I shouldn't even be doing this room, but I figured we might as well get a charge. Pretty much after this point, um, we might as well just go fight our boss and get the hell out of this floor. I mean, we got an HP upgrade, Black Candle, Sharp Plug. Uh, our item room was Kidney Bean, but it also had a Spirit Heart in it. Or, uh, it had a Tinted Rock, at least. I don't remember what the Tinted Rock had in it. And we stand an okay chance to get a deal with the Devil here, maybe. Kind of ran out of consum uh, consumables, but... That's totally fine as well. Oh, right, plus we got a Chaos card, which is awesome. Don't jump. Good. We are still... I mean, it's not that we're at the point where we're doing so little damage that it, it benefits us to... Uh, to fight Mega Fatty with uh, Monstro's Tooth. It's more that Mega Fatty just has such ridiculously high HP. By the way, Mega Fatty's small room is bullshit. You saw me try to sneak past him, and I couldn't even do that, so... I tried to get under him when he jumped, otherwise I figured I was just fucked forever, but... We made it happen. Uh, didn't get HP on that one. Seemed to have slowed down a little bit, but we'll head down to the next floor. Uh, cognizant of the fact that we're working on our spun transformation. Rate of fire is much, much lower than it used to be. Is our damage better? Doesn't really seem so. So I think we kind of struck out on experimental treatment there. Life goes on. To a hearts. Probably worthless for us on this floor. Hmm... The good news is, and, and there's always good news, or often good news at least, we are almost certainly going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. I'd be surprised if we didn't, at least. Is 75% almost certain? I might put that within my realm of always certainty. If we can blow up a judgment or something, it just makes it that much easier. A uh, little bit of shades of the last run here. Two bomb synergies. Honestly, kind of happy about it, considering that my damage just seems sort of shitty right now. DPS at least. Damage stat itself might be uh, completely under control. 
Um, let's try to blow these up. Maybe get like a tears upgrade pill or something. It's not good when you're more desperate for pills in the late game than you are in the early game. Oh, the spiders are helpful. On the somewhat rare occasion we actually get them. Ares is at least a speed upgrade, if nothing else. And I think that on the average run, it probably is nothing else. Alright, we gotta be a little bit smarter about our use of Monstro's Tooth. There's a couple of room types, room archetypes, I guess I should say, where it's basically worthless, and we are pretty much playing into that right now. <laughs> we are using it on rooms where there's like a lot of weak enemies. This is not the right time. We're gonna use it on rooms where there's one or two strong enemies. And nothing else. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a in a dark place here. Alright, Mega Mod does not move, so... Uh, Monstrous Tooth is going to do a lot of damage there. I think I'm going to kick in a bomb. Probably kick in another bomb. Bomb synergy's working out, and this could be good. Give me a good trinket. Ah, that is like the opposite of a good trinket. Relax is okay. And Krampus. Bit of a whiff, honestly. Bit of a whiff on this floor. And Krampus's head. I'm not going to take. I'm still buying into this idea that Monstrous Tooth could be good for us. So let's go like one more room up. Pop the sun card. See where we're going here. Um, I mean, we could just leave, but that's a little lazy. I think it's better for us to... Um, well, don't forget the chaos card, for one. But at least go into the secret room. You can decide for yourself whether or not the shop is worthwhile after that point. But, again, a pretty bad room to use uh, Monstro's Tooth on, but it's okay. Trying to use bombs on occasion to, to generate some spiders... Because really, we're just trying to make up for the fact that our damage is, is fairly poor right now. Um, two more keys. I think we just go, honestly. Was there a, The card in here was two of hearts, right? How did... This one experimental treatment... I, I normally am fairly pro-experimental treatment. This time, this one experimental treatment has just, like, turned this run into a big question mark, man. I'm not taking... Uh, Hookworm, by the way, just because our damage is so fucking bad right now, but... I can't complain about the, the speed at which we're making it through this run. And I'll never deny that we were super lucky to even, you know, get as many HP upgrades and all stats upgrades as we did at the start. But it, it's sort of all coming apart here, believe it or not. Or at least I could see it coming apart as a result of our fairly inadequate damage. Okay, Counterfeit Penny is a good trinket. Goathead is good. Bob's Rotten Head is basically like a throwable monstrous... Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> it's a throwable monstrous tooth with a little bit more flexibility, but probably less actual damage. The Goat Head pickup is incredible, though. Like, that's going to be the driving force, I think. Here's the deal. I'm actually going to take Bob's Rotten Head, believe it or not. Um, even though I use it probably more often than Monstro's Tooth, and Monstro's Tooth is a little bit more interesting, I want to see if it generates spiders for us. And if it does generate spiders, we'll probably keep it because of the fact that that could be a difference maker. Uh, if it doesn't generate spiders, we'll give it a we'll give it away now. Because um, what I got, you gotta give it to your mama. What I got, you gotta give it to your papa. What I got, you gotta give it to Obama. You do a little dance, you become the president of the United States uh, just make sure you land the ship yep what, what was the last word you said to yourself just make sure you land the shot that bomb stuck so at least we got spiders but I was kind of looking for the secret room in fact I kind of oh you know what we have goathead let's go to the secret room regardless certainly want that penny is ah two spirit hearts okay all's forgiven we have to land this shot in order to prove that it's making or not making spiders. Seems to stick. Oh my god, then we killed the enemy before we could actually check. But the fact that it sticks makes me think that it probably does generate spiders. So you know what? This is a cool synergy. I can feel happy about rolling with this. Now just stop shooting the enemy that you stick. He explodes. Where's the fucking spider? Like, you know what? I don't know. I'm gonna roll with it anyway, because these weird sticky bobs are out and head bombs are kind of funny. And at least it gives us something to do instead of just pressing the space bar. Yep, there's bobs are out and head. 
or yep, there's monstros too. That's what I mean to say. I ended up proving the opposite of my point there, or trying to prove the opposite of my point at least. Okay, you can definitely tell this run is slowing down. Are we gonna do boss rush? I mean, just with our items in general, uh, especially our spacebar item, you'd probably say boss rush is a little unlikely to begin with. Yeah, no spiders. I mean, this may actually make Bob's Rotten Head worse. <laughs> to have an item that, uh, that, oh, well, we're immune to explosions now, which is nice, uh, and the occasional shot from Host Hat. But to have an item that uh, doesn't explode instantly if it touches an enemy, and then if you kill the enemy while it's stuck to them, it, it'll never explode. That seems like a pretty poor uh, substitute for uh, a good spacebar item. And apparently, by the way, I just cannot aim with it. Immunity to explosions, you know, doesn't help us too much with Bob's Rotten Head, but it, it certainly doesn't hurt. Hope for like a blue candle or something, man. Placebo Chaos card? I don't think we want anything here. Just keep pulling yourself back. Can't keep running away. <laughs> it's not not the best far side impression on on record, probably. I was gonna say, let me guess, it'll be an enemy that teleports, so that Bob's rotten head just. Oh, it did do something though. I was skeptical it would get it done. You know what? I'm beyond thrilled to have a cube of meat joining our arsenal here. And this deal with the devil, please. Save this run from mediocrity. Okay, ball of bandages. And Gimpy. It's good enough. Good enough to be at least half half decently excited about. But this run, it lost all its momentum, man. It's petered out so quickly here. Absolutely. I think you go play this. Yes, hello. Your lunch. Whoa, Kate, that's amazing. Thank you. She made me some uh, triangle kimbap. Which now I will do my best to explain to those of you who don't know what kimbap is in the first place. Basically, kimbap. People, when I went to Korea, they called it a Korean sandwich, which is just like, this is nonsensical. I get how it's a sandwich. It's 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 a rolled food, but it's like calling it a Korean sandwich is like, I mean, it just doesn't fit. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're gonna use Joker as soon as we finish this room, um, because I want to keep chaos for later. We might as well see what our deal with the devil is early. Not good enough. Well, it's probably better than Bob's Rotten Head, but I'm gonna say not good enough for now. Um, kimbap is basically, um, a filling, like, you know, ground beef or, or tuna or kimchi, uh, wrapped in rice that is then wrapped in seaweed and then sliced into smaller pieces. You could think of it as sort of a sushi roll, only, um, it's, it doesn't necessarily contain fish in it, and it's, it's Korean in origin as opposed to Japanese. And then triangle kimbap is like a snack version of that, that instead of being sliced into pieces, is just one self-contained contained, uh, pocket of kimbap that is wrapped in a, uh, wrapped in a seaweed container. I'm gonna get this eternal heart. I just, I forgot that we were immune to explosions, so. Give me nine lives. There's a chance we could, yeah. I'm gonna take it early. There's a chance we could make Guppy happen here. And it is delicious. It is also uh, similar to Onigiri, if you have been to Japan. It's it's a perfect lunchtime, snack time, anytime food. I don't love that I'm on this floor. Necropolis 2, or Depths 2. Not that the difference between them matters that much anymore, but I'm on Necropolis 2 or Depths 2, and I am using Ball of Bandages for the primary damage dealer. Strikes me as uh, not necessarily being indicative of us having a great time damage-wise on this run. Okay, don't be the world's biggest idiot. You can be the biggest idiot in your room right now. That's what I'll allow you to do. But I'm not going to allow you to be the world's biggest idiot and compromise this run. If you have to use Ball of Bandages to deal all the damage, go for it, dude. Use Ball of Bandages to deal all the damage. See if I care. But I will not allow you to lose this run as a result of your idiocy. Uh, I see this guy's got the most fucked up hitbox in the world, apparently. Look. I took damage there. And I've kind of fucked myself as a result of nine lives, but that's, you know, a constructive fucking. 
It's a situation that probably will be good for us in the future. Um, but... I'm a little scared about the way things are going right now. Also, I can't believe we're probably not going to make it to Boss Rush. Like, that shit is blowing my mind. I mean, I'm not going to do Boss Rush anyway. You'd have to be crazy. You'd have to be out of your mind. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, all these things are gone now, apparently. Uh, I guess after they kill you once, they can't kill you again. It's that old uh, ye old Double Jeopardy type situation. We have to go to our item room. We have to go to our shop. Boss Rush is irrelevant at this point, which I know many of you have waited years to hear me say that. How many fucking dead ends can we go to before finding the actual end? I think we may lose this run. After all... It's all experimental treatment. I have to be honest about that. As much as I love experimental treatment, it has kind of fucked me. We know that our next uh, item, the next item, I should say, coming our way from the deal with the devil is fucking Book of Sin. Do I, I think maybe at this point I have to take Book of Sin. Hope for something like car battery. Man, Magneto is not good enough. One bad decision. This is an, an analogy for life, man. One bad decision has put us, you know, in this... Awful situation here. You know, I got one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, I'm taking away your tear stat and you can get fucked, you know? Oh, blue candle is a saving grace. Take a spirit heart. And also take a load off, Fanny. Boo doo doo doo. We're not gonna beat mom in time. Might as well stop by our uh boss trap room. Now that we can. Is it worth it? Arguably, or potentially at least, yes. Cricket's head. Not Cricket's head, but enough consumables to make me not feel too bad about it. Great work, team. One more hit. Just two more hits. That's right. Stand inside of the fire, Chris Gaines. This is going to make our life... And by this, I mean Blue Candle, the obvious item that is uh, ten times better than anything else we've picked up in, in quite some time. It's going to make this run so much easier. Weirdly enough, I actually feel like perhaps this run has gotten harder. Well, let me put it this way. I think we have gotten weaker since the second floor, which is fairly unusual, but not the kiss of death necessarily. Because of this goat head potential, we certainly cannot take, um... There's no second secret room there. We certainly cannot take, um, Book of Sin now. Our primary damage dealer is going to be... Blue Candle. There's almost no way around that until we get a better deal with the devil, which will not be coming this floor, so don't get your hopes up there. Wait for the next pop-up. There we go. There you go. One more. One more. Oh, just one more. There we go. There's our deal with the devil. Take the Polaroid. Can't take Book of Sin. I mean, we could take it and then roll permanent Polaroid Invincibility. I think that's a very stupid decision on our part. Let's move along here. Chaos card. Theoretically gives us a way to fight Hush. Am I interested in that? You know, I gotta admit, with 15 keys, uh, but not very much damage and an easy way to kill the Hush. This is one of the few times in my uh, Isaac quote-unquote career, where I have found myself actually thinking that maybe fighting the Hush is the right strategic decision. But it does, um, it carries some consequence, because if I miss with the Chaos card, with nine lives and no damage, I have doomed myself to not only death, but also frustration in advance of death. So, um, it's, it's a tempting idea that is tantalizing, but also scares the shit out of me, much like Bai Ling. Five room. Potentially good, but I gotta admit that once we get into these rooms that do not have um, item rooms, or these floors that don't have item rooms, I'm a lot less interested in the idea, oh my god, of a five room than I otherwise could be on a normal floor with a shop, item room, etc, etc. Now the trade-off is there is an extra deal with the devil uh, as a result of this, and we've already fought Krampus, so we know that deal with the devil at least, at worst, it's going to just give us red chests. Or, sh actually, red chest would be better than shit we don't want that would also cost us a life to pick up. So, um, 
as bad as it gets is still relatively good. Not necessarily good, but relatively good given the potential worst case scenario apart from that. Great work. Two of hearts. Uh, effectively worthless right now. Could change. I think I'm going to pursue this idea of making the hush fight work. If you look at, you know, it's going to sound like I'm kind of copping out on that five room. But first off, this is a more novel strat. Secondly, when you look at it, you're basically getting another floor either way. Would you rather have a floor that has um, four golden chests, two item rooms, and a shop? Or would you rather have a floor that has a deal with the devil in a boss room? Of course, it depends on what you get, but that doesn't make you a smartass for giving that answer, you know? In real life, you've got all sorts of uh, risk-reward uh, functions to evaluate for yourself on a daily basis. You can't go back in time and be like, oh, I wish I didn't take that job, actually. you got to just do the best that you can with the, um, with the tools at your disposal. You may give me a battery charge. You did give me a battery charge, which is functionally completely worthless. Okay, uh... Heading to the country, gonna fight a lot of bosses. You got it, team. You're doing a good you're doing a good thing here. We're all in this together. Hang in there. Okay, definitely two keys for Guppy's head. It's Tammy's head! That's a different head altogether. I don't think this is good enough, honestly. I think blue candle being reusable is better than Tammy's head once per room. I also, I feel like Tammy's head would not kill any of our enemies in a single hit. So, in a way, what do we care? At this point, I'm actually offended by the amount of keys we're getting. Stop with the keys. Now, admittedly, a big problem with this run right now is the fact that we may find ourselves in a situation where we do not encounter a, uh, a freaking, uh, you know, I'm trying to tell you that maybe we won't be able to get to the hush fight, and I'm trying to break the news lightly because of the fact that I also am skipping out on that, uh, on that other room, um, that could re-roll, well not re-roll, but let us do another floor altogether. So I'm trying to, you know, break the news lightly, that's okay, I didn't even want to be in that room anyway. Also, the eighth life is the worst of all possible lives, as we're all more than aware of, from our studies. Please do not be a difficult boss. Teratoma, with the Tinted Rock, in the conservatory. Not the easiest boss to face, but but certainly far from the hardest. We'll save that spirit heart for probably after we kill ourselves on the deal with the devil. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We knew it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen from time to time. Don't let anybody tell you nine lives is not worth it. You can do anything. Okay, and we have done anything here, assuming we don't get hit by this fucking spider. Sweet, HP. Don't take that yet. Yeah, take fucking Headless Baby. What a what a wonderful item and time to be alive as well. Sweet, there's our Spirit Heart and meat. Is it bad? No, 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 no. Not bad in the least. Oh, I just hit my elbow on the open door. Is it good? Oh, I wish I could say yes. We're gonna start to be a little aggressive in a way that is probably going to irritate some people. Not like, you know, verbally aggressive, but we're going to be bombing our way through rooms fairly regularly here. Feel like it's a good idea to fight this guy to get more bombs so that we can bomb our way through more rooms on route to what I hope is an easy hush win. And you know what? Mr. Mega, that's a solid pickup. Five bombs ends. The opportunity for even more. Sweet, big fan of, um, big fan of this so far. Back to full HP, even though I don't want to be. Okay, this time, easy room, easy, easy, easy room. Controller had a little bit of drift there. My character was moving in a way that I would not have expected. Watch out for that creep. Battery charge is worthless. You know what? This room, I actually feel, is totally worth fighting through as well. Let's be real. We're going to run into this room about 100 times out of 100 on the chest. So, might as well get used to it. Generate a few spiders out of it. Killed the dude before the spiders got killed themselves. Curse room. We have one guppy item. 
I, I would really like to go in here, but we need to have like a two of hearts card to make that happen. Or a justice card. Alright, well, you know, I wasn't like fishing for it or anything. You could do whatever the fuck you want, game. See if I care. Sweet. Uh, we got our spirit heart back. And I would like to go back for that immediately. How much HP can one enemy have in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth? Oh god, that was close. I don't want to lose this life. I also don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss you, baby. Oh my god, did the host hat protect me there? Did you see how close that blue candle shot came to coming into fruition there? Please, I need to get out of here so I can get to the hush fight. Also, I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. We're gonna make it. Go, go, go! Get out of there. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Keys. Who cares? Whoa! I ran through his neck and did not get hit. I did not even know that that could happen. We are out of bombs. Alright. That's okay. Life goes on. Just finish this up. I think I'm gonna have to finish this floor, pause the game, do our roundtable podcast, and come back. We're, it's not that it starts in two minutes or anything, no, no, no. Rather, it's um, that I'm looking at this run and I'm like, there's no way it finishes in the next, like, 12 minutes. So I should definitely, uh, I should definitely prepare for that. So we're gonna finish this floor, and then I'm gonna remember what I've been doing. I'm gonna do my best to remember what I've been doing. Oh, there was a tinted rock up there, god damn it! Dude, the dead ends are getting a little freaking ridiculous here. Thank god we got counterfeit penny that's uh, pulling out all the stops right now good good enough <laughs> oh it's mom's heart okay did you see that shit I almost feel like I have to okay you know you know what we're gonna try to beat mom's heart within 20 minutes or with it within 30 seconds I should say and if we do this if we are able to accomplish this gargantuan task, then we'll go fight the Hush. When we come back. But for now, this is not looking too likely. And if it's not looking too likely, then we end up using the Chaos card to beat Isaac instead. Decent blue candle shot. Decent blue candle shot. Help me. Okay, we are gonna get through this. Obviously, we can't fight the hush. This whole run has just gone... It's gone south, man. Necronomicon! Alright. I'll see you guys after a, a quick uh, video edit where you will see me on the cathedral. And we're back! Let's continue this Eden run that actually could go either way, to be honest with you. Roundtable podcast is complete. We're on the cathedral with four lives and and a wonderful chaos card. What might actually be an okay outcome, as strange as this may sound, is if we get Dad's key on the chest and then we're able to fight Mega Satan. You just kill the first phase, and then when you get to the second phase, drop that chaos card on him, and uh, and you're good to go, basically. Of course, it's, it's a little easier said than done in the sense that the first phase is is not an automatic victory. You know, it, it's got some some tricks that it can pull out in and of itself. But I'm just I'm spitballing here for some unorthodox ways that we could achieve victory. Good time to use a Joker card. Holy Christ, we finally got a good item. Not that okay, that sounds like tone deaf. We did get Magic Mush. Magic Mush is pretty good. We did get nine lives. Nine lives is pretty good. But we finally got an item. That allows me to feel comfortable with the fact that I have, you know, one spirit heart as our HP right now. And that item, of course, is Mom's Knife. It does not guarantee us the win. But it does put us in a position where a win is at the very least conceivable. Oh my god. And I would say even more than conceivable. I would, or conceivable? That's like way too Northern Lion-y. It's like I would have to have more self-awareness than I actually do to make a joke like that on the fly. Um... 
even more than conceivable, I would say that at this point, a win is probably likely. But with low range, these boss fights, you know, are no joke. And... Oh, careful. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Uh, to be honest with you, some of the rooms on the chest are going to be tough even with Mom's Knife. And it's not the most high damage Mom's Knife we've ever had. But I'm going to stop because, t you know, if you take it out of context, it really seems like I'm basically saying, Oh, we got Mom's Knife and we're still going to lose. I really do not mean it that way. This whole fucking... I had to... I stopped the video so I could go do round table, And this shit's going to be done in like a minute. That's actually hilarious. I'll take Cursed Eye. I'll take $3 Bill. And you know what? I'll take Book of Shadows, which I think is a wonderful choice. $3 bill is giving us triple shot here. But I, I really do feel like uh, Book of Shadows is a wonderful choice with the 9 volt. Um, if we walk into a room and we are able to use this, the enemies will die. That's just uh, pretty much how it's going to go down here. It's like having a permanent Algiz rune we can use once every three rooms. Which I guess you could argue that doesn't really make it permanent. But you understand what I'm getting at in all likelihood. Little disappointed we didn't get HP from that uh, mini boss room. Just back there, but we did get a spirit heart, which I guess, if you want to get technical, is HP. But I don't want HP, and that's why I threw it away by walking on that creep like an idiot. Well, I would do this room exactly the same way 10 times out of 10, I promise you that. Now, remember earlier I did say I don't think we're going to use the Chaos card properly. That was just based on the fact that I only rarely use the Chaos card properly. Felt like kind of a safe bet. But as of right now... We're getting increasingly to the point where maybe it's going to make an appearance on our final boss. I would be thrilled to see it happen. We don't need that key. Ooh, another Book of Shadows charge. So absolutely do it this way. Yeah, I mean, especially Book of Shadows has now turned this into a run that is probably getting close to unlosable with 4 HP. 4 lives, I should say. Anything could happen, but it's, it's probably not going to at this point. Mostly I'm just salty if I'd known that Mom's Knife existed here. It would have saved me the laborious process of doing a single cut and, you know, paste with my editing process here. Which is just, oh my god. The amount of labor I go through for this is, I mean, I might need another vacation coming up, honestly. I'm not sure if I can handle it. You know, burnout rate is pretty high in this industry with all the crossfades and the video editing that people tell me about. But I have never actually experienced firsthand. Ignore that. Um, we did get, like, about... That was self-aware, by the way. I hate to, that I have to point it out, but... There are going to be people like, Is he actually complaining about... No, it's a rhetorical device. I'm not actually complaining about anything. I got nothing to complain about, man. Except for the fact that this experimental treatment did fuck us. And I've, if anything... I feel, like, even more betrayed. Because I'm always the guy saying... Experimental treatment is, uh, it's a, usually a net good now. Like, it could be bad. It could be a net bad, or it could be uh, a net benning, you know what I mean? One of America's most treasured actresses. But this time, it, it came through as, oh, that was a waste. This time it came through as being horrible, and I, I do not appreciate that at all. Because I'm always the one in your court, okay, experimental treatment? And then you're coming in here with the, oh, how about uh, all of your stats go down except for shot speed? Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, now check this out. I do have the Chaos card, but I'm going to be the world's biggest idiot slash cockiest moron. And I'm going to kill him with the Chaos card when he's one hit away from death because of the flavor. Careful. It has been done. Didn't kill the last enemy, I guess, technically with chaos, but it's done. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.